हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप दैट यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड सेफ एट योर होम्स स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव डन विद आर फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज नोइंग आर नंबर्स टूडे विल स्टार्ट आर सेकेंड चैप्टर दैट इज होल नंबर्स इन दिस चैप्टर विल डू थ्री एक्सरसाइजेज एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट वन टू पॉइंट टू एंड टू पॉइंट थ्री इन एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट वन विल डू वेरी जर्नल थिंग्स अबाउट दिस चैप्टर दैट इज वाट आर होल नंबर्स प्रीडेसर एंड सक्सेसर वाट इज नंबर लाइन हाउ विल यूज दिस नंबर लाइन ओवर द एडिशन सप्रैक्शन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड इन एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट टू एंड टू पॉइंट थ्री विल डू सम इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज basically we have five properties but in your syllabus we'll do only four properties that is closure property over addition or multiplication commutative property over addition or multiplication associative property and distributive property and students will discuss also about these all properties individually later on so let us start our chapter but before starting as usual we we'll have to discuss some basic first and also what type of question will deal with in this chapter so at very first what are whole numbers in mathematics whole numbers are the basic counting numbers 0 1 2 3 4 and up to so on whole numbers include positive integers along with zero positive integers means positive numbers only mean with zero it means we usually use counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 but when we add in the regular counting zero as well then it become whole numbers and how we learn it have you seen students in whole numbers there is a whole and zero look like a whole only so all the numbers including zero are called whole numbers so our next topic is predecessor and successor students in standard first or second we have done questions like what comes after 6 and what comes before 4 remember students means what comes after 6 means plus 1 7 and what comes before 4 is minus 1 that is 3 so same with successor and predecessor successor means after and predecessor means before so whenever we have to find out the successor will plus 1 into the given number and whenever we have to find out the predecessor of any number so we will do minus 1 and now how to learn it see successor means to have success to move forward and so therefore we will do plus and predecessor means previous so we we'll, means before so we'll do minus 1 so let us take one example i have 396 just find out what will be the successor of 396 successor plus 1 so that would be 397 and the predecessor for 396 396 predecessor means minus 1 so there there will be 395 so this is all about your predecessor and successor our next topic is number line a number line is a way to see the numbers by placing them along a line means along a line we have to show the numbers along the horizontal line this is called a number line and a number line is usually horizontal with zero in the middle always zero will be in the middle 
from the middle the right numbers are right hand side numbers are called positive numbers and left numbers are called negative numbers but in this class we only deal with the positive numbers or positive integers a number line can also be used to carry out addition subtraction and multiplication it means we'll do the addition and subtraction or multiplication with the help of this number line we always move right to add move left to subtract and always skip the number to multiply let us understand it with the help of one example see one example i am taking 1 plus 2 everyone knows 1 plus 2 is equals to 3 but how will show this addition on a number line see first of all we'll make a number line 0 1 2 3 fine 1 plus 2 see we'll start our addition from 1 yes plus we we move right and how much right two steps right so 1 2 so we'll reach at 3 so this will be the answer using this number line now to take one another example this time taking multiplication example 4 into 2 it means 4 times 2 so in multiplication the rule is first of all make a number line the rule is in multiplication 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 in multiplication we always start counting from 0 okay in multiplication always we have to start the counting from 0 now from 0 we have to count in multiplication what was the rule we have to skip the number theek okay? hai so how many number we have to skip we have to jump after 4 1 2 3 four means four numbers we have to jump how many times two times four times two so four number gap two times this is one time 1 2 3 four this is two times so the answer is 4 into 2 is equals to 8 god students it means this is all about your number line how to add subtract or multiply using the number line if i'll take one more example 4 into 3 you know everyone 4 into 3 is equals to what but using this number line we have to show 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 12 13 up to so on See, always we have to start from zero. Now we have to take a jump after four. One, two, three, four. One jump. How many times we have to take a jump? Three times. One jump. One, two, three, four. This is two jump after four, and this is one, two, three, four. This is third jump after four. So the answer is twelve. So like this, we have to do the multiplication using this number line. now the last topic and very important topic is properties of whole number so properties the first property is closure property of addition and multiplication second property is commutative property of addition and multiplication third property is associative property and the last property is distributive property so let us discuss all these properties individually one by one closure property of addition when two whole numbers are added we always get the sum as the whole number for example 5 plus 6 is equals to 11 closure property of multiplication when two numbers are multiplied we always get the product as a whole number for example 3 multiply 9 is equals to 27 so have you seen students whenever we we'll add two whole numbers always we get whole number and this closure property always holds under addition or multiplication only now the second property 
commutative property of addition. If we we'll add any two whole numbers, the sum will always be same irrespective of the order of the addends. It means whenever we will add any two numbers, whatever will be the order, the sum always be same. For example, 380 plus 244. As per the commutative property, 380 plus 244 should be equals to 244 plus 380. So, 380 plus 244 is equal to 624 and 244 plus 380 is equal to 624. So, with the help of this example, we can conclude that even if we change the order of the addends, the sum remains the same. Commutative property of multiplication. If we will multiply any two whole numbers, the product always be same irrespective of the order of the factors. For example, multiply 312 into 120 using commutative property and as per the commutative property, 312 into 120 should always be equal to 120 into 312. So, see students, 312 into 120 is equal to 37,440 and 120 into 312 is equal to 37,440. So, what we have concluded? We can conclude that even if we change the order of multiplicands, the product remains the same. See, here are more examples of commutative property of multiplication. So, this commutative property also doesn't hold true for the division or subtraction as the closure property. The third property is associative property of addition and multiplication. If we will add three whole numbers, then the sum will be same even if the order of the numbers are changed. Similarly, if we multiply three whole numbers, the product of the numbers is same even if the order of the numbers are changed. Let us see how this property work in making our calculation easier. 44 plus 60 plus 24 to add these three numbers we can associate the last two numbers 44 plus in bracket 60 plus 24 which is equals to 128 and second 44 plus 60 plus 24 in this we can associate the first two numbers that is 44 plus 16 bracket then plus 24 see the answer is same that is 128 see student always we have to solve the bracket first wherever you are taking bracket either in last two or in first two first of all we have to solve the bracket as per the rule and see we have concluded that whatever will be the order the answer the sum remains same in both the cases now we can see how associative property of multiplication make our calculation easier 12 into 10 into 42 in this also we can associate the last two numbers see always solve first the bracket we got the answer 5040 and in second if we'll take if we associate first two numbers again after solving the bracket again we got the same answer 5040 so we can conclude that wherever will be the association the answer the sum and the product remains the same and this property also holds for addition and multiplication only. Now the last and important property is distributive property. This property is very much helpful for our calculation in mathematics. Let us see how the distributive property makes our calculation very simple or easy. For this, I am taking one example, 728 into 101. See students, we are already aware of the usual or traditional way to multiplying two numbers. But the other way by using the distributive property is, we can break 
any of the number say I'm going to break 101 into 100 plus 1 we have to try that we can break any number in zeros one term so it will make our calculation very simple now 728 will multiply with each and every number inside the bracket 728 into 100 plus 728 into 1 so now solve it 728 into 100 is 72800 you know the shortcut students that 728 into 1 is 728 and rest of the 0 will add at the last plus 728 into 1 is equals to 728 now add the term 73528 now so see students the traditional way is easy or this one method is easy but obvious this one method is very easiest way so students this is all about our introduction part of chapter 2 while solving the exercise it will be very helpful for you because you are already familiar with the question type so I hope students you all are understood the topics which we have discussed today in next video we will do the questions using these topics thank you and stay home stay safe